this is the video about my horse smock. Um, just wanted to show you uh, some parts thrown around. These are just parts for the torso, um, but this is where most of the complexity is, which there isn't much really. Um, this is the skeleton of the torso. Um, I literally just grabbed a bunch of gray parts that I rarely ever use, which are G1 parts, and I strung them together. So I have one torso at the bottom, one torso for the chest of the horse at the front, um, and one smaller torso uh, just for the back of the horse. Um, and this is what it looks like. It's pretty simple to build. Um, and basically, the entire intention of this mock is to get an impression of a horse as quickly as possible. I only spent three days on this build and um, I only spent like a couple hours a day on it. So yeah, I didn't really spend a lot of time and that was the whole purpose of it. I didn't want to fuss over about a mock that contained mostly parts that I didn't really use. Um, I just wanted to get these parts used and put this mock in the background basically. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, so let's talk about filling this up. Um, once, you've, once you have something like resembles that resembles kind of like a, a body of sorts. Um, this is obviously a big hall part right here. Um, so what I did was I grabbed these G1 hands, uh, it in the same way, just like that. Um, sorry if I go off camera, I'll try to keep everything in, in view. Um, and when that folds in, it'll be inside and it'll take some space right there, uh, but I'm not that done. So um, I felt uh, later on in the build that uh, the bottom was a bit too skinny. So just again, more G1 bones, uh, just pop in there, and pop in there, and I'll make a connection here, uh, oops, it's actually really sunny today, um, and <laughs> I'm having a bit of a hard time looking at my phone because it's just that sunny, but yeah, so just fold those, those bones in, and there's a bit more thickness here. Um, Next, the glaring part that's empty is right here. Um, so I just took, I built two of these, one on each side. Just, again, string of G1 bones, really. Um, and pin right here, um, just to the side. Uh, just pin that there. And just adjust it. And I wanted to have the foot going in this way uh, because I think it's just a nice shape. Um, for the side of the torso, so I'll c make this connection with uh, one of these. Uh, they, ha they have a stopper at the end, so just put it through the uh, pinhole and push it, and voila, connection. Um, these pins are just for uh, armor bit later on, but yeah. Um, so once I had things connected, I just started adjusting them. And see, for example, this pin, if I felt like it was too long, I'll just uh, disconnect it. And I'll connect it to it, a, different, a different hole right there. Um, and yeah, that's that's one side. Let's do the other side. Same thing, uh, mirror. Anyway, um, yeah. So uh, we've got the middle slightly more covered up. Obviously, there's still a lot of empty space. Um, at the front here, this ball joint I've placed there to um, connect to the neck and I've used a longer axle. So this axle is, I can, I can actually connect one of these. So <laughs> one of these. Um, this part right here forms the back of the horse and it's a decent um, piece of armor to sit on uh, for my other mock. Um, so I just, uh, I'll just connect it from here. Um, and yep, there you can see the axle. I'll just push that in. Not even gonna care about whether the length is perfect or not. Just push it in. Um, and now you can start to see that the shape of the horse is forming here. Um, and if something's not to your liking, you can always just adjust it because they're all bones. Okay, so as I was saying, um, this part right here is empty. Um, so let's have one of these um, sockets. These are great because they have uh, three three ways of connecting to other parts so this is a bit tough but there you go um, so first thing I'll do is fill fill the gap um, so I'll, oops I'll just grab some armor like this and pop it in the middle fold this in and there you go it's 
kind of covered, kind of. Um, obviously, it's not fully covered yet, so let's fix that. Um, I'd firstly like to um, cover these bits, and then I'll get to here. Um, so just, I just have these Hordica feet. I bought a ton of these on uh, Brickling because they found them fairly cheap. Um, so yeah, put the same thing on both sides. Um, let me just fix it up a little bit. And yeah, now, um, ooh, a bee or a fly, uh, one of them. And these uh, Hero Factory armor, just place them. I have them on a peg, uh, and I'll place them right there. Doesn't matter if it doesn't go all the way in, as long as it's secure. Um, same thing on the other side. And it's coming together now. Armor bit for the back, but first, um, this is the head connection. This is to this is for the tail. And once that's in, I have a pin right there, and I've set this up to receive a pin. Um, and so I'll push that bit of armor out of the way, and I'll fit this in. Ooh. I should probably move this a bit. There you go. So there, now everything fits in, um, and the head's there, um, and now. Um, this jetpack here, I wanted to put it in that position, and uh, my options look like this. So I decided to um, use the uh, pins of the jetpack, so these, um, and set them up with these uh, axles. So I could put one here and one here, and because these are on ball joints, then I can just adjust them to uh, receive uh, these two pins within that length so it's pretty easy to just pop these in um, yeah I'll try to get a camera shot of that so that will go there and I'm having a bit of trouble but oh there you go see I'm just pushing them and voila um, and now the jetpack fits too and I think it uh, sort of disappears in all the silver quite well um, so this finishing touches, um, there's a bit of a gap right here. Um, so I've placed a socket inside earlier on, random G1 bone. Just pop that in, it's pretty tough. It's really tough. Okay, there you go. Um, pop that in right there. Um, fix those bones. Um, and there you go. There, it's filled out and I believe this has a purpose for uh, filling something out, I'll probably leave my parts, um, but yeah, so I felt that this part right here of the chest was too uh, empty, so I wanted to put this thing here, and but the connections weren't good, so I decided to just do this, I'll put this pin here, and just have a set of bones connecting it to the front, um, so yeah literally just pasting stuff on and here's the last bit um just f felt like this was a bit empty too so um have one of these this is gonna be a lot easier this way um and there you go just g1 bones on g1 bones on g1 bones and i've got myself a horse torso <laughs>